Hi everybody, I am not feeling great so I haven't been doing a lot of cooking and I'm sorry. But I'm going to make a little something for you today, a nice easy crock pot cobbler. And you can use any flavor you want. We're making cherry. Uh, we use what we got. We had one sugar free and two regular. And you can use either one. You can make it sugar free, you can make it regular, you can use sugar free cake if you want. Uh, if I'm using home canned pie filling, I usually use one quart and one pint. Hadn't canned any this year. It's been so hot. So, uh, this year, I'm, this time I'm just using some that I have bought over time that are in my pantry. And I'm going to just, what you do is you take your, I'm using three cans. You can use two if you don't want it as fruity. I like mine fruity. I'm just going to dump my pie filling. Get it in the bottom of my crock pot, which is already turned on high and heating up. I mean, this is so simple. This is one of the easiest recipes I got. And then I'm going to take the other two and dump them in. And there's only three ingredients. So, yeah. <laughs> it's not something you have to have a lot of on hand. I found these in the pantry. I'm like, these need to be used up. And I found an oat cake mix. I'm like, that needs to be used up. So... Try to get as much of it as you can. I like to try to get all of it. Waste not, want not. And the last one. And like I said, you can use it any way you want. I had some home canned peaches one year and made it with that. There's a film up on my channel with it. It was so good. But this year, or this time, we are just using some canned cherries and it'll be delicious cherry pie filling like I said any kind of pie filling you want to use that'll work okay now let's just smooth all that in there make sure it's all everywhere next step and this like I said it's very simple I've got to try to see in there, which is hard to do sitting down. But I have to sit down or I fall. So it's kind of a catch 22. What do you do? I'm going to take a cake mix. Yellow works the best. I'm just using this cheapy yellow one from Aldi. You can use like any brand, any kind, yellow, white, whatever you got. Okay, we're just going to take this. And just sprinkle this across the top. Get the whole thing in there. Oops, a little bit on me. Uh, that's all right. And pat it down in there. Get it in there good. You don't have to stir it. You don't have to mix it. You just have to get it in there. Okay. Now I have sliced up two sticks of butter. And I'm just going to place these pats of butter all over the top of this everywhere okay well, this would help if I could see in Don't stir it. Don't do nothing right now. Just get the butter in. Alright, when you got your two sticks of butter in there, you put your lid on. And that's it. Now you just wait. And in about an hour and a half to two hours, depending on your crock pot, you will come and turn it down to low and let it continue to cook. But for now, ow, it's getting pretty hot. That is all. We're not going to do nothing else. Cool, huh? All right, y'all. We'll see you back here in a little while. Okay, this has been cooking on high for about an hour and a half. I'm going to turn it down to low. I'm going to poke a few little vent holes in it. It's not done yet, y'all. 
Don't get too excited. Looks like I didn't do a good job distributing the cherry goodness. It's hard to do from, like I said, sitting down. But uh, my disability requires me to be sitting down, so you make do with it. All right. And this generic cake mix didn't have as much cake as some of them did. But I think it'll be fine. All right. We're going to let that keep cooking, but on low, for about another hour and a half. And I think we're going to go watch a movie while it cooks. We'll see y'all in a little bit. Okay, I think our cobbler's ready. It was on high for an hour and a half. You can go two hours if you want. And on low for about two hours. You can switch that around. I think it's just a little on the runny side because I put that extra can of cherries in because I like it fruity. And it wasn't a very big cake mix, but it's done. It's just... You know, might not be to your life. If you want it thicker, just use Oh, no, it's thick enough. Look at that. That's beautiful. Okay. Oh, yum. Get some cherries on there. Now, this is a hot, Carmen. Don't bite into it just yet. There's bubbles coming out. Probably if you let it sit for a few minutes, too, and set up, it would be even more set. Now, I need to get this my spoon. I got Cool Whip here for her. We've been smelling this while we watched movies. Or a movie. Oh, yeah. And the co-op's a little frozen, so it'll be kind of like having ice cream. And there you have it. Y'all take care. Have a great and blessed day. And eat something good.